up on Healthy Living with Mila. Mila visits Dr. Nagarajan to find out about the categories for people with obesity and cardiac issues. We learn some Pilates with special guest Kathy Watson. Chef Katrina has for us a delicious Nikoi salad. Plus, we pay a visit to Kila Kila Secondary School for our community visit. Let's go check in on Dr. Nagarajan to see what he has for us. Hello, Mila. Come, I'll show you my other area where I spend most of the time in the day. And in uh -huh. fact, my whole life, I'm spending it here. Oh, wow. As, as you can uh, see, this is the catheter, cardiac catheter laboratory, where we try to treat patients with the blocked arteries. And as we discussed, that obesity will can lead, can to, lead to blockage in the arteries and then give people heart attacks. We'll have, yeah. This is, um, do you want to come this side? Actually, it will be a lot better for you. Okay. As you can see, this is one of the coronary artery that I put a dye across. And as you can see that a lot of narrowing down there, this is the cause of this person's heart attack. Mm -hmm. Now, the best way to treat this actually is to put in a stent. And this is what happens when people with obesity. Stent is a metal. Okay. that goes in here, try to open up that, that narrowed segment narrow. and keep them in place. Okay, and let the blood, the blood flow flows. smoothly through that. Okay. Once it is narrowed, that's what they get the heart attack. They try to open up. Apart from the obesity giving high blood pressures, high cholesterols and the high blood sugars, these can in turn cut the blocked arteries. The obesity itself directly cause atherosclerosis. What is atherosclerosis is deposition of the cholesterol, the bad cholesterol inside the, the brain. blood vessels. So we're saying, okay, just think that this is your brain. Exactly. When you are eating too much fat, the fat gets the blocked fat, inside. Yes, it, it gets will deposited. Adhere into yeah. the mucous membrane yeah. of yeah. the yeah. arteries. It gradually and gets deposited and blocks. Yes. There is a buildup of block gradually and if you don't look at yourself and start treating and behaving yourself to lose weight and remain in shape, this is where you, you will, will end, end up. up. Yeah, it Very is treatable disturbing. as long as you recognize you are obese, as long as you feel. And that feel. is where you said self-awareness. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. I'm learning, I remember. And you've got to be very mindful mm -hmm. while you're eating and very careful when you get the symptoms and losing out of shape and actually be more thoughtful in doing regular exercise, join your club. So basically, to prevent, as what you were saying, to prevent from getting obese or overweight, they should have to be cautious of what they put in their mouth exactly. and be active. They don't need to be an extreme athletic yeah. and moderation exercise on a daily yeah. basis. Yeah. There you go, guys. What is the home. ideal recommendation is I would say this. Oh yes, doctor. Seven yes. steps, as we spoke last week. Yes, that's right. Step one, actually, watch what you eat. Cut down on your carbs, mm -hmm. refined carbs, sugar. Reduce the salt intake. Mm -hmm. Cut down on your fat. Limit your fat to less than thirty percent, and increase your exercise. Okay. 150 minutes of brisk exercise where you will literally sweat. 150 minutes. 150 minutes okay. per week. Per, per week. week. Per that's week. only 150 per week. Exactly. That's not that very I'm easily doing, doable. That's very I'm doing easily doable. 120 a day. Exactly. But well, that's brilliant. <laughs> that's brilliant. That's that's probably why you are yes. actually looking a lot fitter than yes. me. Please explain it to us. Exactly. The first step that you would actually do, watch what you eat. Be mindful when you actually sit in the table to eat your food. Cut down on your refined carbohydrates, sugar, reduce your salt intake, cut down on your fat less than 30%. Increase vegetables and cut down on your saturated oil. That's very, very important. Try and avoid meat product as much as possible. Keep yourself healthy by eating good portion of fruits and vegetables. Uh -huh. At least 500 grams of fruits a day. So you mean 500 grams of vegetables and fruits daily? 500 grams of fruits. Oh, fruit, 500 grams. Yeah. Yes. And that 
you said before that uh, prevent of too much sugar intake. We know for a fact that sugar, that fruits has a sugar content, but in a different. But in a different because sugar comes in a very many different forms. Yes. The, fr the fruits that has a sugar that's that's okay. Yeah. Because as long as you don't take an added sugar, this should be all right actually to give you some instant calories. Ah. So and that is an immediate energy that our body exactly, requires. Exactly, that you would require. Okay. The, originally, the carbohydrates was actually increased in countries where they were really agricultural farming is because to provide them instant energy, because the carbohydrate provides you the instant energy. Yes, So this right. is fine. But as long as you exercise, be thoughtful on that 115 minutes, a brisk walk, 150, 50, 150, uh, brisk, brisk exercise oh, brisk. per week. Okay. At least that's very easily that's doable. Nothing. That's very easily yeah. doable, well. as you can see. And this will keep your blood sugar level less than 100. It is always healthier to keep the blood sugar level, fasting one, less than 100. And then to keep your cholesterol less than 200. So, dog, how for a commoner who doesn't have any medical background yeah. or idea, how are they going to know Good. to keep their cholesterol level into 200? Yeah. I, I, that's, I would suggest initially if they are out of shape or if, you, if they are getting symptoms, it is best for them to get it checked with the doctor. That's it. That's, that's where you are that's coming from. That's a doctor. From. And then they yeah. get educated and they should develop a good insight because mind control is the key for the success of controlling the obesity. Otherwise, irrespective of drugs and other treatments, then you will still struggle. That is what it is I your cooperation. Know. You have to cooperate with the doctor to achieve the very successful results. Is there any alternative for me taking medicine or having a surgery? Yeah. There are plenty of options actually to treat the obesity, as I said, overweight. Now, it start from actually, if you are feeling fine, but when you measure with all these things and you find yourself, your BMI is above 25, Five. then you need to look at yourself on your diet. You cut down as what I told you before. The second step is increasing your level of activities. Once you try to do this, if you cut down 400 calories per day, you would lose half a kilo per week. 400 calories, that's according from your body weight, right? Yeah, yes. Body 400. weight and age. Yes, yes. 400, if you cut down whatever you eat, generally, if you cut down on 400 calories, okay. you would, uh, yes, on a, daily yeah, on a daily basis, yes. There you go, guys. We have learned a lot from Dr. Nagarajan from Pacific International Hospital about obesity. And don't forget, don't take any steps that you have lack of knowledge of um, about losing that weight or if you're already morbidly obese, obese and you're suffering from all these complications, please, please, there is nothing wrong to meet in person our doctor guest here, Dr. Nagarajan. Thank you so much for this day. Dr. Nagarajan, Thank you, Mala. what a wonderful time to have you here with us to give us all that simple explanation and knowledge and also that is Thank really you. very disturbing. You guys don't want to end up that way so you take the step right now, not tomorrow, not next day, not next week, not next year. Today is the right time. Back to healthy living with Mila, cooking healthy, eating healthy. Chef Katharina, say hello to our viewers, please. Hi, viewers. Welcome back to the Gateway Hotel. Hi, Mila. Thank you for having me again. Thank you. Thank you very much, especially Gateway Hotel, who keep us here to cook this wonderful food. 
with you. Okay, so today we're gonna to use this piece of beautiful Atlantic salmon that I've pre-sealed, just with a little bit of salt and pepper, no oil, no butter, some green oak leaf, a boiled potato that I pre-boiled, a boiled egg, Spanish onion. Instead of dressing, we're just gonna squeeze some fresh lemon over our whole dish right at the end, some black olives, and some fresh cherry tomatoes, yes. homegrown. So we're just going to wedge our potatoes. Yes. All the fruits and the vegetables that has a thin skin, I don't peel it because you're going to discard all the nutrients content right. of the food. You're right. So we're just going to add everything into one bowl. So okay. at the moment we have the lettuce, the potato, the eggs. Are you an olive fan? How many olives? Yes. Eight, please. Eight <laughs> olives. Yes. Next we're going to add our cherry tomatoes and I'm just doing the same amount. Eight. We're sticking with that. So all of these ingredients, again, available at TST. Very simple, very cheap, very easy to make. I'm just going to slice a few slices of Spanish onion. Okay, so yep. we've, we've got all our salad in a bowl together. Give a nice toss of our salad. Pop it in the bowl. Beautiful. By the way, viewers, you always have to remember you should have to have at least six lemon pieces of lemon in your kitchen. Why? Because lemon juice has 88% citric acid that is good for you to take every day to sustain you from getting that ascorbic acid, which is vitamin C. It's good for your skin, good for your eyes, good for your joints, your bones, everything. It's almost like a detox as well. We'll yes. move everything yes. along. Keeps your insides healthy. Exactly. There we go. Wow, that Seared is salmon smells on a good. Salad with salad. Uh, so simple. Strip of lemon so you can add a bit more if you want it. Yep. Exercise, exercise, exercise. One way to lose that body fat, to turn into obese, to drop it down. Exercise is the best. And Pilates here, what Cass teaching Ruth Ann on doing Pilates is number one. It helps your brain, your heart, the whole of your body, especially it reduces your body fat. My name's Kathy, I'm from Australia and I'm a Pilates instructor. Has anybody here heard about Pilates or heard of Pilates? Anybody? No. Pilates is an exercise system that was developed um, over 90 years ago by a man from Germany called Joseph Pilates. Um, he was a very sickly child. He was encouraged to exercise to make him stronger, and which he did. And by the time he was 14, he was very strong, fit and healthy. He, and then that um, made him very interested in other forms of exercise. So he studied boxing, martial arts, gymnastics and yoga and put them all together and develop this system that he called Contrology, which we call Pilates now. And it's all about working our core, our deep abdominal muscles, or in Pilates, we call that our powerhouse. Um, from that, it's become more and more popular as time has gone on and you'll find a lot of <laughs> footballers use it now, elite sportsmen and women. And the beauty of Pilates is that anybody can do it. All you need is your body, you don't need any equipment, and just a bit of space, really, and some determination. Um, it's, Pilates has got so many benefits. It tones and strengthens every muscle in your body. It gives you that mind-body connection. So it's not only good for your body, it's good for your mind, good for your heart. So I thought we'd do just have it do a couple of exercises or a few more than a couple of exercises. So if there's anybody 
couple of volunteers who'd like to come up and try some, pil some Pilates with me? Anybody? down again and coming up that's it and pull your tummy in and go back down again that's it so what you don't want is your tummy popping so you just keep as you come up keep pulling the tummy in yeah that's it and take it back down again and when we take it up <laughs> that's it and take so knees are bent yeah and then we go down pull the tummy in just to there yeah yeah, and then pull back again. Yeah, and then lengthen up. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> and pull the tummy in as you come back up again. Yeah, two more. And pull in, pull the tummy in, and come back again. And last one. And pull it in, and come back. So all fours. Yeah. One hand, and we're going to take it out. And the other leg, the opposite leg. No, do the opposite leg. Yes! That's it. Pull the tummy in. And then change over. And then do the other one, and change over. That's it, and pull your tummy in. And then bring it back. And yeah! And take it out. And hold, so lengthen the leg out. That's it. Keep pulling the tummy in, yep. So you want to be nice and level, and then pull it back in again. Yeah, that's it, good, yeah. good. And then do the other side as well. So bring it in and take the other arm and leg out. Yes, that's it, and extend the leg all the way out, and keep the hips level. <laughs> okay. okay, and that's good. Yes. yes, that's good. And last one, why don't we just do, we'll go into a downward dog. So we hold it like this, pull the tummy in, Tuck the toes under and press back. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so from there, can we come over into a front support? Yeah. Yeah. And then take it back to the downward dog. Yeah. Good job. And back over to a front support. Yeah. And back. Yeah. And one more. That's it. That's it. And then take it back. And pull the tummy in. And we roll all the way up. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you to my help. They're so wonderful. Thank you, everybody. Welcome back. Thank you for staying with me, and guess what? This is a beautiful school that I've ever been. Kilo Kilo Secondary School. Look at all these students here. They are so beautiful, they look so wealthy, well presented, and what else can we ask for? Anyway, I want to introduce my girlfriend here, who's been with us um, on the exercise, who's doing, who did the Pilates. Kath, did you enjoy your Pilates exercise with the students? I certainly did. Thank you so much. Time. Thank you so much for doing no, that. And thank you so much. One of the mothers who will join us today as well. Okay, I'll see you there. We're going to talk to the students. See you later. 
Our subject today is about obesity. Does anyone know about obesity? You know when someone will call you obese? Is that good? Is that good? No. Why is that? Anyone can answer me? It's when someone who doesn't um, eat healthily or doesn't follow like yeah, eat the right type of food. That person can uh, have obesity, meaning that person can gain overweight, or that person won't stay like <clears throat> in a certain shape. So your yeah, obesity is when someone is really fat, not like to describe anything. Overly fat. Yeah, overly fat, overweight, not at the right weight. Obesity, fat. Yeah. So you can see our. Some of our parents are obese, our aunties, our uncles, our nobles and whatnot, they are humongous and that is very bad. So while you guys are still young, you can protect yourself. You can prevent yourself by gaining being obese. Okay? Obesity is not good for your brain, especially if you are still dreaming to be somebody, someone, someday. Obesity can affect your heart, can affect your, your blood, can affect your brain, can affect and can cause cancer. Do you believe that? And also it can collapse your kidney and your um, liver. Once that all your organs, once all your organs are affected, you are totally bagger up. You're kaput. Nothing that will be good in your body, okay? Now, about the heart. This, this episode is about your heart. Your heart is like the main, the main organ or the main ma uh, machine of your body. That's the one that is pumping the petrol. It is just like a car. But at this time, think about your study, how to be someone, somebody, somewhere, someday. Okay? That is your goal. Be healthy, be merry, be happy, and enjoy a positive life. Okay? All of us are all the same. We are equal. We have eyes, mouth, nose, and everything. I love you all. Watch Healthy Living with Mila every Thursday at 7 o'clock. Five o'clock every Sunday.